Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to use a concatenate formula in Microsoft Excel. So this formula is quite handy if you have uh, two sets of data in two separate columns and you want to combine them into one column. So when I used this recently and I thought it'd be worth making a video about because it did save me a lot of time was when I was doing a conversion from the MYOB system into zero. And what I was doing was I was importing the supplier and the customer contacts. But when I exported this data from MYOB, MYOB, the first name and the last name of each contact, as you can see here, I've done a bit of a dummy list, they were exported into two separate columns. But the template that I was using to import the data out of MyOB into Zero only had one column, one field for the whole name, which included both the first name and the last name in the same field. So rather than do a whole lot of copying, pasting, or even worse, retyping stuff, this is where the concatenate formula came very much in handy. So I'm going to show you how to use that. So what I want to do here, I've got column A with the first name, column B with the second name, and I want to combine these into one column. So I'm going to put that into the third column here, and I'll just put a title up the top here, which isn't really necessary, but it'll just make our example a little bit more clearer. And we'll call this the combined column. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type equals and then concatenate, C-O-N-C. -C. There it is. If we double click on that, the start of the formula pops up. So we can see here we've got the formula equals concatenate and we've got text one, text two. This is going to be column A and column B. So here, the first item, text one, I'm going to click on cell A2 column A for Keith, and then I'm going to put a comma, and then I'm going to click on B2, Richards, and then you can either put the close bracket and enter, or I'll just hit enter, and the formula will finish itself off. There it is. But as you can see, there's no space here between the first and last words, Keith Richards. We want to have a space there, so we can see it as two separate names, the first name, and the last name. So to do that, what you have to do is in between these two values, A2 and B2, I'm just going to click in here and I'm going to do a quotation mark and then I'm going to go spacebar and then another quotation mark and then comma. Now what this will do it will insert whatever is in between those two quotation marks in between these two cells here, the Keith and the Richards. And because I've put a space in between the two quotation marks, it will insert a space in between Keith and Richards. So if I hit enter now, you'll see there, that looks a lot better. And then all I have to do is click on the cell, hover over the bottom right here and drag it down. And there you go. We have our combined names here that we can use for the upload into Zero. Now just to show you very quickly, this you might run into some encounters if you are copying it over into the Zero template or any other template because it's got a formula here. So what I would do, if we were going to pretend that this was the Zero template over here in column H, and I wanted to bring this data over, I would go Control C to copy. I would click over here and go Control V to paste. But then I would click on this little down arrow and I would go paste special values. And then as you can see here, if I click over here in the C column, it's got the formula. But if I, if I click here in the H column, it hasn't got the formula. It's actually got the hard coding or the hard text of Keith Richard because I pasted the special values, not the formula. Then all you have to do to bring the rest of the data over would be to highlight it, go Control C and do the same again. Control V, drop down, paste special values. Now to paste special values, you can also click on this icon here and then click on the numbers here. It's the same thing. 
So there we have it guys. It's a pretty simple formula. It's not something that you use every day, but every now and then it can save you a load of time, especially if you're playing around with data, working with different templates, bringing data in and out of different templates. It can be very handy indeed. Now, if you're interested in booking in a training session, there's a link in our description. Head over to qtraining.net.au. We specialize in accounting software, Zero, Myob, QuickBooks, etc. We also do a lot of Excel work, as you're seeing here today in this video. So head over to there, you can book in a training session, a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session, where we'll show you exactly what it is that you want to work through. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you later.